Hi everyone, welcome to the Red Cam Plus Aspiration Series. Today, we'll be sharing more about MP's new and unique Personalized Learning Pathway. The Personalized Learning Pathway, or PLP for short, is the first program that allows poly students to graduate with a minor on top of our diploma. PLP essentially enables us to gain an extra set of skills beyond our diploma to future-proof our careers for the VUCA world. You can pursue your interests in four different pathways outside of your core curriculum, namely professional skills, entrepreneurship, social leadership, and global readiness. Stay tuned to find out more about these pathways shared by myself and my friends too! So for me personally, I'm taking a minor in foreign languages, specifically Korean. So I actually had a passion and interest in the Korean culture and language since a very young age. And I actually did try to take up the language myself, but I didn't go for external classes, so, it's, so it was actually quite difficult for me. And I thought that picking up Korean might actually help me better communicate with potential Korean clients in the future. So when TLP was offered as an option for me, uh, and I thought that it was free, so I didn't hesitate to apply. After attending a briefing on PLP, I realised that an opportunity had opened up to me. And this may be my first step towards pursuing a goal that has always been on my mind. I believe that social media marketing is used just about anywhere. It's used by companies, organisations and even governmental agencies. I want to differentiate myself from other people by not only learning skills but also acquiring a minor in social media marketing. I was motivated by the huge demand for digital competencies in the working world. So I went to ask around friends and family and that's how I gained an interest in data analytics and AI. Also. I felt that PLP was a very safe platform for me to learn something entirely new and different from my course. Additionally, I have dreams of becoming a social entrepreneur in the future, so I felt that taking up this minor would be very useful in my business. I was always interested in uh, helping others as well as community service, but I never really knew where to start or I never really had the proper skills to do so. Through this PLP, I will be able to learn more about how to help others and serve communities in Singapore better. My PLP lessons are held 100% online, which means that I am able to watch videos and do activities at my own pace. This also means that I don't need to travel to school for lessons. There's actually a lot of reading up on materials beforehand so that we can learn more about the various communities in Singapore. So instead of uh, just reading, it's actually really interesting because there are a lot of engaging videos and online activities such as online tours of the various locations and organisations in Singapore. So my PLP classes uh, are held once a week face to face and before I attend my lesson, I have some videos to watch and quizzes to complete. Classes were held in the evening after my classes attend my diploma and those were about 2 hours each and I took up unit 2 as a vacation module in the September-October vacation and those classes were about 3 to 4 hours each. So how Korean is taught in MP is that we of course start with the most basic things like learning how to read the Korean alphabet, uh, pronunciation and move on to things like vocabulary and grammar. Additionally, we are also assessed on our Korean knowledge via written assessments, oral assessments and role play. So for role play, we can actually apply our knowledge to real life, like how we order food in Korean. So I had a service learning experience with Dialogue in the Dark. Dialogue in the Dark is a social enterprise to raise awareness for people who are visually impaired. So the guides there themselves are also visually impaired. I got into a deep conversation with them and I learned a lot about their life stories and they also answered a lot of my questions such as how to uh, assist them in public. You know? Yeah, it was a very uh, humbling experience for me. It was actually our first brand storytelling class and we were tasked to present on the first brand that comes to mind when we look at our partner. It allows us to learn that first impressions take a very big part in brand storytelling. For me, I use an industry recognized software which is called Tableau for data visualization. It was very cool to see my data sets come alive. So when learning a foreign language, you come to play with a lot of like, role plays. So I'll take ordering food as an example. So what can actually say the food sentence? You learn a lot of other things like learning how to count and then you know about the counting units, learning about the actual vocabulary and then putting the sentence together. So if I were to say, please give me a glass of coke, then I'll say, Kola han gan Yeah, so that's like some of the basic things that we learn. And now that I'm in unit 3, I actually learn a lot more. So a lot more vocabulary tenses like past, future and present tense. And then also learn about various sentence structures and I'm 
also learning about honorifics, so it's how you address somebody of older or of a higher social status, and also what we call panma, which is casual speech, which is what you use with your friends. It wasn't tough for me at all, so my minor was actually planned around my timetable, so my lessons would never clash. And I found it a really refreshing change of pace for me compared to my other business modules. And with good time management, it was never an issue for me. I believe it isn't tough doing PLP at all, because we actually given extra time allocated of our core curriculum to do our PLP. So picking up a new language at the start is of course not easy, but for me it was definitely manageable. The pace of the classes was just right, not fast, not too slow, and the assessments were also really very manageable. For written assessments, it was usually either short answer questions or MCQs, and for oral assessments, we had just had to complete the sentence using the appropriate sentence structure. In my opinion, I think it's very beneficial, especially when I've been wanting to start a business of my own. And not only that, I can also learn new skills while I'm learning this module. An added plus point to my portfolio. To add on, in our professional skills track, there's this minor in applied psychology. Even though MP doesn't offer the diploma in psychology, students from all courses can still sign up for this minor in applied psychology if they are interested. That's definitely for myself. Having a minor actually gives me a competitive advantage when I apply for a job in the future. And outside of academics, I'm learning about a culture and a language that I'm passionate about and travelling to Korea might be more fun now. My three years of education in Bali, not only am I getting a diploma, and I'm also getting a minor. I think that's amazing. We have come to the end of today's Aspiration series. If you have any more questions about PLP, I'd be happy to answer them tomorrow on Telegram chats. For more information, click the link in the description below. Bye-bye!